Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video in this one my friends I'm gonna be testing the GTX 1660 Ti in Cyberpunk 2077 This one is the Zotac Amp edition of the card I'm running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers for 60.79 And I'm also running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM Now, uh, you will get pretty much the same FPS if you have something like a Ryzen 5 3600 Not sure about the 3300X because I think quad cores struggle a little bit in this game But yeah, let's get to the game I'm playing at 1080p resolution I'm also going to be testing it at 1440p, which might be a little bit off the limits of the GTX 1660 Ti, but we're going to try that out later. Uh, starting off at low settings, and this is it, as you can see right here. We're also going to be testing it at medium, high, and ultra settings. And I am not going to lower the crowd density setting right here, because I tested it prior to recording this video. I tested low settings, and I got like one more FPS, so I'll leave it on high. I think if you have an SSD, it doesn't really matter too much only with the hard drive so let's get right into the game as you can see my friends this is absolutely great like finally I'm experiencing this game at 60 plus FPS it's the first time here because I've only tested the RX 570 the 1030 and the GTX 1050 Ti so far those didn't really do that good of a job at 1080p but yeah let's get in the car here hopefully no one's gonna spot me doing this up oh. I, I guess they they did kind of no they did not all right then <laughs> all right we scored ourselves a pretty decent car as you can see and by the way looking at the cpu utilization i really thought it would be higher so maybe that ryzen 3 3300 x or 3100 will actually provide you with these fps with the gtx 1660 ti if you have the 1660 super you should get fps in the ballpark of this maybe like 75 on average instead of 80 that's like five to 10% slower than this GPU uh, so it will still do a good job the game still manages to look great on low settings so if you really really want 60 plus all of the time I guess it's doable with the 1660 Ti it's just kind of a bummer to play a beautiful game like this one on low settings you know but still uh, we still got medium high and ultra to test maybe the 1660 Ti will surprise us there but I am not really too confident because oh boy medium settings seems to be a lot more demanding than low okay we're going to a demanding area here by the way uh, with lots of people so like a crowded area I guess and uh, yeah we did drop from 60 fps it's kind of dropping a little bit here and there the mouse doesn't really feel that good to move anymore it doesn't feel smooth there are a couple of frame time not spikes but the frame time is very inconsistent to graph there you know so yeah you're definitely gonna notice that but i think it's also because of the 3700x i'm not too sure because the gpu utilization just went down uh quite a bit here in this area so yeah, guys, this game is very, very demanding. I'm not sure if it's an optimization or if it's just a next-gen title that doesn't really run that well. I mean, an 8-core 16-thread 3700X shouldn't really bottle like a 1660Ti, or at least it should not drop from 60fps, but it did there. So, yeah, it just goes to show you how demanding this game really is. What the heck just happened? Anyways, I just loaded into the game. Uh, let me go to the settings here. Medium settings preset now at 1080p resolution. This is it. As you can see, I'm not changing anything. Motion blur is fortunately turned off at the medium settings. I love to see that. And 1080p resolution. There we go. Okay, let's just steal that car again. And so far, I'm going to start counting the FPS. Yeah, it seems like it's doing a pretty decent job. We're already dropping from 60 though, so that's not very good. But um, as long as it stays around 60 FPS, I'd say that it's a decent experience. Alright, um, so are you gonna notice me now or nah? I don't think so. Guys, what if I... Um, <laughs> that guy is inside of the car. He clipped into the car, oh my god. <laughs> and nobody cares. Okay, I just... Oh, now you care. Okay, never mind. Let's, let's just go. Let's just go now. So it's right around 60 FPS now. Uh, we're not CPU bottlenecked anymore. I don't think we will be even in that area. What the hell? There are flying cars. I have never noticed that actually. Um, but yeah, 
this is it's it's kind of getting rough guys but it does look better than low settings and i would have zero problems playing like this so that's how i'd play the game to be honest maybe medium settings if high only gets like five less fps than this i guess i'd go for high but i don't think so i think high is another big step down in performance and another big step up in visual quality coming from medium settings so um if you want that visual fidelity kind of experience you know you will need to grab a better card if you really want to play at 1080p high settings with 60 fps that is but maybe you don't mind playing at 30 frames per second and that that might be okay i don't know right now it's dropping and the frame time graph is already kind of sluggish and weird yeah i think they should probably look into it and iron out these issues you know performance issues it's kind of stuttery guys i don't know if you can pick that up in the video recording but uh yeah it doesn't feel smooth at all like i'm gonna get out of here now and show you like i move my mouse around you know um in another area where it feels smoother and you'll notice the difference definitely like right here probably yep there we go as you can see frame time graph is completely flat there or kind of okay i'm gonna go ahead i leave it on medium settings and this one on low and now i'm gonna load the other game okay we're back at it again you can see that there are much less vehicles uh driving around the roads here it's completely empty actually ah that sucks a little bit you know but let's just pick up this car right here once again and uh, nobody cares really they just say i will find you like are they looking for me guys are they seriously looking for me? I don't understand. Anyway, let, let's just go now. <laughs> but okay, so far it's pretty much the same. FPS in the 60s here. It doesn't really change a whole lot. You know, there's just less people outside, I guess. You know what? It's much easier to benchmark like this because there aren't as many cars around. So I can be faster, you know? All right, dropping into the 50s again. Same as earlier. But uh, it does seem like it's not doing that thing anymore. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we're here now. Oh, oh, ouch. So sorry, buddy. Uh, all right, never mind. It's, it's doing it, but it's less noticeable. Or maybe it's just placebo, I don't know. But I think the spikes there in the frame time graph are way less noticeable. But it's, yeah, it still feels kind of janky at times. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's kind of the same. Uh, yeah, didn't really change a whole lot, did it? <laughs> 61 FPS on average instead of 60, so we got one more FPS. But I myself prefer one less FPS and a lot of people around the map, so I'll set that to high again. And let's set everything to the high settings preset right now. I'm just gonna disable motion blur, not lens flares. And let's load the game. Okay, there we go. We got a car right here just looking at us. A guy in a car, actually. Wow, this this looks better. And it's still kind of playable. Like, high settings with the RX 570, for example, was really bad. We got lower than 30 FPS on average, I think. Or maybe 30 flat on average. But that means that we did drop a lot into the 20s. This one seems to be a lot better now. Okay, so, yeah, that's to be expected, obviously. This is a much better card than the RX 570 but let's keep on moving here as I said I think the game is completely playable above 40 FPS and to be honest as this is a single-player title I think I wouldn't find this experience on high settings you know of course it's kind of bad and uh, underwhelming that the GTX 1660 Ti is not good for 60 FPS on high settings but you gotta remember this is a next-gen title but maybe they could have optimized it better I don't know guys do you think this game is unoptimized do you think it's just that demanding because i don't really know what to tell you we're back here again yeah the spikes are definitely a little bit higher here with the population density turned up too high but um yep you know this is it it's not too bad still it's it's still playable i just wish they uh, took a look at this and fixed it as soon as possible that would be great what the heck is this, this is smart okay so 49 fps average and 33 one percent lows the one percent lows are pretty bad because of that issue again we didn't really see it drop into the 30s i believe so this is still a playable experience completely playable experience here but now oh we can actually test ray tracing do you 
guys really want me to test ray tracing with the 1660 Ti, you probably shouldn't, but I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway later, okay? So yeah, 1080p ultra settings right now. I'm just gonna disable motion blur again. Okay, we're back here. Let's start counting the FPS now. Ultra settings. Uh, let me see. Huh? What? He isn't moving his mouth, guys. And he's talking to me. You know what, guys? Maybe it's just the way of the future. Maybe in the future you won't need to move your mouth to speak. Okay, okay. They finally catched me doing that. Very interesting. All right. They actually do shoot at you and stuff. Uh, talk to... I don't care. Uh, 45 FPS there. Well, it's, it's very similar to high. But now we're seeing that jankiness around here as well. A few times here and there. We saw like a... A spike there in the frame time graph these aren't really stutters that's what's bugging me a little bit because I hate stuttering and I don't like this it's different you know I, I really despise stuttering issues but I could get used to these issues right here but at the same time of course I don't like it and um, I, I don't recommend you to buy this game at this moment because of the performance issues maybe they'll fix it soon but for now, it just feels a little bit janky, I don't know. It seems okay, it seems like 30 FPS okay, or 40 FPS okay, so... Yeah, it's still doable on ultra settings. Oh boy, okay, I think the guy just clipped into my car. Is it gonna exp- What the- Okay, alright buddy, what are you doing there? Oh my god! Oh, okay! That was very interesting, never seen something like that. The, I think he just kicked my car now, at the end of it. Oh my god. Alright, anyways, I am gonna stop it there for ultra settings. 43 FPS on average, 32% lows, it's, it's playable, sorry people. Ray tracing media. Okay, so it's... It seems like ultra settings with ray tracing, yes, okay. Yeah. So it's completely unplayable. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're surprised or not, but, well, it's a 1660 Ti. It can't really do ray tracing properly. So, um, that's, that's it for the ray tracing test. We have 15 FPS, basically. And now, let's see, on ultra ray tracing... Yeah, we lose 5 FPS compared to medium ray tracing, or 6 FPS, or 7. This is kind of like a GT710 experience at this point. Who would have known that the 1660Ti at the maximum settings would perform like a 710? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, okay, that is completely enough. I'm never turning that on again. <laughs> Let's do 1440p, shall we? Okay, we're at 1440p resolution using the low settings preset this time around. I will be really impressed if this is playable at ultra settings in 1440p. I don't think it will be playable, but let's see, guys. All right, we're getting really nice FPS still. This is completely playable. As I told you, 40 plus, for me at least in this game, is definitely enough. And uh, let's do our little run over here once again. So right now we're getting 50s, not too bad. So unfortunately at 1440p you can't really maintain 60 FPS all of the time like we did at 1080p low. I mean, we kind of did drop from uh, 60 there at 1080p low, but it was because of the CPU, not really the GPU. So I guess the 1660 Ti can play the game at 1080p low with 60 plus all of the time if you pair it with something like a Ryzen 5 5600X or something. But that's kind of overkill anyways. Now that I switched from ultra to low, I can definitely see that uh, although the game looks great on low, there's a massive difference in visuals. Okay, this leads me to believe that whenever you become slightly CPU bound, even just a little bit, uh, the game starts doing that crazy crap. So um, keep that in mind if you have a slower CPU than like a Ryzen 5 3600. Overall though, if you have a 1440p monitor and don't mind these FPS, I say it's perfectly playable, 100%, and the game still manages to look decent. So sorry people, once again. Okay, here we are, uh, 1440p, medium settings preset, this is it, and um, yeah, I guess it's still gonna be very playable here in this preset, sorry, sorry, okay, let's just uh, park it here, 
get out of the vehicle and get inside of the car here I'm not sure why I'm not going with a motorcycle actually I really like that one but okay we're doing it with this car instead in this one I like the handling in this one as well it's not like that red car from the GT 1030 video not too bad we lost like what 10 FPS maybe so it's still very playable as I told you for me with the 1660 Ti and the 1440p panel I think I would play on medium settings at this resolution and I wouldn't really um, increase the settings more than this because it's already dropping into the 30s as you can see still doable though but it's not as smooth anymore of course so if you have this GPU with a 1080p panel uh, that's ideal uh, but if you have a 1440p panel maybe upgrade the GPU where am I going what the heck of course you don't need to upgrade it if you're fine with this performance but if you really really want 60 FPS well you yeah, might as well go for something like an RX 6800 or a 3070 or maybe a 3080 even I personally wouldn't I just want the 6800 XT to benchmark here in the channel of course but if I didn't have the YouTube channel and I only had a 1660 Ti only had this it's a pretty decent card you know but you know what I mean um, if I had a 1660 Ti as my main GPU I think I would be fine with this experience I wouldn't really upgrade it okay no matter what people tell you you only need to upgrade if you're not fine with the performance you're getting okay this is high settings I just disabled motion blur right there okay this is the preset uh, this is still on high and 1440p resolution oh boy all right this is becoming a little bit rough for the 1660 ti i don't think i would play like this unless uh, I was playing with a controller or something, you know, and locked the FPS to 30 and even then it will probably drop into the 20s a few times here and there, so... Hmm, not really ideal, guys. The game does look gorgeous though, but this is where an upgrade to the RX 6800 or the 3070 would come in handy, if only those were in stock, but that's a whole other story, right? <laughs> ah, it's so close to 30 FPS, I'm not sure if it has dropped yet or not, I'm not really paying too much attention to that. Uh, the game's looking really, really good here at these settings and native resolution, because, well, usually I play at 1080p, things become a little bit too blurry but at 1440 it just looks way too good guys it is really impressive what they've done in this game yep it's so gorgeous but okay it's it's also almost unplayable so <laughs> oh oh okay oh boy all right yeah i did want to see an explosion there so that was good it did drop into like 27 i guess and now let's finish it off with ultra settings here i might actually try ray tracing just for the lols but yeah 1440p uh ultra settings motion blur is enabled it's below 30 fps already so it's definitely gonna drop even further than that in that little area there so I won't call this playable anymore, you should not play this game on ultra settings, 1440p at least, 1080p, well it was kind of playable so maybe go for it. Uh, yeah, that said guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, I'm just gonna switch it to the ultra ray tracing mode, just to see, oh my god, <laughs> yeah, okay. As always guys, stay tuned for the next videos, I will test the GT710 Saturday, so if you're interested in that, uh, click that bell icon and uh, subscribe and all of that stuff. Love you all guys, see you in the next one, Bye bye